no understanding. Pale, emotionless faces. The blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. It's purely and simply evil. What's up gamers, I'm RC Styles, and you are watching Gamers Purgatory pre Presents Friday Night Frights. This is taking the place of Friday on Fridays, where we played Friday the 13th games, uh, mainly, which has been like a staple for Gamers Purgatory since we launched back in uh, about the same time as uh, Friday the 13th the game had launched. Uh, for our first installment, now keep in mind this is a reshoot, we did this once before, before, but the um, weather was not cooperating and the signal and everything was not that great. Um, we decided to do Borderlands because of the Borderlands 3 coming out here in September, as well as because in the original Borderlands not many people knew about the uh, zombies type mode, which was later a uh, purchasable DLC. And then later in the Game of the Year edition, it was automatically added in, but still not many people really came across it. I guess, you know, they played the main game and said, okay, the hell with it. Um, but being that we're featuring horror games every week, I figured this would be a pretty good fit. Not only just for the sci-fi and monstrous characters that you run into for Borderlands alone, but because the Jacob's Cove section actually focuses on zombies. Um, our actual next installment, our next episode, is going to be another game that many people may not have known that there's going to be a zombies that there was a zombies mode for it as well. Uh, what game is that? Well, you're just going to have to tune in next week to find that out. I'm not giving everything away on our first episode here. Um, quite a bit, and um, hopefully we can at least get through the first two missions here. Now right here you'll usually see a claptrap who will sit there and give you a little rundown of the devastating doom that awaits ahead. And uh, basically the object is we're going to go down to this town over here. Let's see if I just look over here. We're going to end up going down there and turning on their defenses and that's primarily going to be our home base for the first few parts of these missions. So this is already working a hell of a lot better than it did last time. Well, one thing you'll notice you can collect in here are brains. Um, I don't quite remember what that ended up adding into, but I believe in a weird way it was currency somewhere.
critical hit. Clap trap right there. All right, so the mission is to turn these torrents on.
The town should be safe for now. But if you're really going to solve the zombie infestation, you're gonna need to talk to Dr. Ned. He's been trying to fix the problem, and I'm sure he could use a hand. You'll find him at his office down on the docks. I'll open the waterfront gate so you can be on your way. Let's go! Killer. New missions are available at the Jacobs Code Bounty Board. So anyway, the idea is you can spend time here leveling up. If you come in right at the first opportune time, which is, seems to be around the level 10 range. And if you do, you can really.